Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel Good Morning Expat. The summer vacations of 2021 have now started and this year I'm going to explore the beautiful region of Sicily or Sicilia in Italian which is one of the most iconic areas of Italy. This is Mount Etna guys, so it's like a totally different planet. In this five day journey, I'm going to show you a lot of prominent sites of this region, including the beautiful beaches of Catania and Syracuse. Uh, then of course, the world famous uh, active volcanic uh, mountain, Mount Etna. And we're also going to explore the food and shopping scene here in this beautiful and colorful island. Sicily is the largest island in Italy and is located at the southernmost tip of the country, an area which is often called Italy's boot, I believe, owing to its shape. If you are an international student or an expat living in Milan or somewhere else in the north of Italy or even elsewhere in Europe, you can easily plan a week-long trip or a long weekend trip, let's say, to this island because the flight connectivity is really awesome. You can choose to either fly to Palermo, which is the capital city and has the international airport, or you can, like me, also choose to come to Catania, which is on the eastern side, and it also offers very nice international flight connectivity. I'm now standing at uh, the port area because I wanted to take uh, some nice pictures of the port itself and uh, also of the city view from here and uh, therefore you can see behind me a lot of private and uh, also public boats, also boats which have uh, which are in logistics businesses but this is basically the central hub from where all the boats depart, private, public and, and of uh, other types. The city of Catania, I believe, is named after this word uh, Catane, which if I'm not wrong means uh, sharp knives, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I believe that's, that's where the, the word has been coined from. And uh, this place is famous for its ancient ruins and temples. Uh, also, of course, for world-class cuisine, uh, the famous Mount Etna, which is close by, which is an active volcano and is also known as a melting pot of cultures thanks to a mix of Arab, Greek and Roman influences. So food and wine shopping is one iconic experience when you are in Sicily, of course, because it has very nice fresh produce like tomatoes, olives, capers, which is a speciality. I bought one uh, um, dried caper salt, which can be used as a seasoning over salads. And this very nice shop also has a selection of very fine wines from the region if you are a wine enthusiast but they also have many condiments, pasta sauces, some souvenirs, masks and other things that you can buy. 
and behind me the famous Fontana del Emenano, if I've got the pronunciation right. And uh, this is a famous fountain which resembles sheets of water, so it's popularly uh, called by the people of Catania water or sheets fountain. And behind this there is a very famous fish market. Uh, which I am respectfully skipping because I don't find fish markets very appetizing for personal taste but it's, it's one popular location if you are a fish lover or seafood lover then it's a must visit as well. I am now standing in the Piazza del Duomo, which is of course the most central location of the historic centre of the city of Catania. This old town in fact is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and there are many monuments and places here of touristic interest, also including many bars and cafes where you can sit down and relax and enjoy some classic Sicilian and Italian dishes including the granita, arancini, crocchette, uh, pasta alla norma and things like these. The most attractive monument here though is the Fontana del Elefante which you can partly I believe see behind me and uh, this is in fact the icon of the city. This is considered to be the symbol of uh, Catania and is a very important monument over here. Of course around this place another central location is the cathedral itself or the Duomo itself. And the piazza itself is very beautiful, so it's quite a lively and happening place because there are several bars and restaurants here where people are gathered all the time, so they are packed. And especially in this month of August, which is the holiday season, in fact, uh, you'll, you might have to even wait for 5 to 10 minutes for your turn to come. But uh, I think the service is quick, people are really friendly, it's something that you, you can easily notice. So people here are super friendly, warm, calm, easy going, laid back, so it's, it, the vibe is a little bit different from Milan for sure. But it's, it's a welcoming, uh, it's a refreshing change, it's a welcoming uh, uh, change that you can witness over here, especially if you are on a holiday. And now I'm heading to the University Square, which is an adjoining Piazza Square right next to Piazza del Duomo, which is also an important center here where there are again a lot of bars, restaurants and places where you can hang out. The university that you can see behind me is the University of Catania and uh, this is the oldest university in Sicily. It was the first one established on the island and it was established of course in the 1400s, 1434 if I'm not wrong. And at the time of course it was something uh, reserved for the rich and the privileged and it started with a few students, of course with a few faculties as well. But since I'm particularly interested in academic institutions, I went on the official website of this university to find out about a bit of history. And uh, the, the worth noting uh, factor was the fact that uh, when it started, each academic year would begin uh, with a count of 25 chimes from the nearby cathedral. And also upon graduation, all the graduates would of course receive their bachelor or master degrees, but in addition they also received a gold ring. So quite interesting. <laughs> and uh, I hope in our times this was the case, but sadly not. <laughs> but at that time, yes, uh, in addition to the degree awards, uh, the students would receive a gold ring and also a special blessing from the Archbishop. So quite nice, <laughs> quite a fun fact. When you stand in this piazza, it is hard to imagine that the city has been buried under lava completely several times uh, because of the volcanic eruptions from the nearby Mount Etna and has also been destroyed completely several times by some major earthquakes in the past. I promised the pristine beaches of Sicily and it cannot get more pristine than this. <laughs> 